please like this video and subscribe to our channel. Quick setting modes on Android. I'm Huey Poplock. How to use the quick settings menu on an Android phone. Now, not all Android phones are alike, so it may differ somewhat on your Android phone. And then I'll show you how to get to similar settings on your iPhone after we go through some of these. So let's take a look. What do we mean by the quick settings menu? The Android quick settings menu has been a powerful feature of Android since Android Jelly Bean. We're going to explain a little bit on how to use it and some of the things that you can do with it. The tips and information should apply no matter who made your Android phone, whether it be Samsung, Google, Huawei, or others. You can get a full or abbreviated quick settings tray. Let's see what we mean. We go to the top of the screen and we drag it down. And there is the abbreviated quick settings tray. And if we take it and take it, drag it all the way down, you will see the full quick settings tray. Let's take a look at some of them. Wi-Fi. The Wi-Fi shows you which Wi-Fi network you're using, if any. And tapping the settings icon will show you available networks in your area. You can also go to the full Wi-Fi settings menu to add more networks and control advanced options, such as whether you want your phone to automatically connect to your open Wi-Fi networks or stay connected even when in sleep mode. So let's take a look at that. If we click it once, it shuts it off. Click it again. It turns it on. Click it and hold it for a moment, it then shows us what network we're on. So we could shut Wi-Fi off. Let's say you're, you want to use the phone, you're in a McDonald's, you don't want to use the McDonald's Wi-Fi, you turn it off. And then you're going to use your phone to access the web. When you're ready to turn it back on, you click the little button, it turns it on, and then you have a choice which of the Wi-Fi's that you want. I want the the TP-Link, the one that says 5G, although there is one without the 5G, which would be the 2.4. It'll show you the Wi-Fi's that are available nearby. You choose the one that you want, and if you have the password, you should be able to connect to it. And now we'll hit the drop down again, and that's the Wi-Fi. Now, the Wi-Fi calling, I'm not going to demonstrate here. You can turn that on or off. But let's go to the sound. When you click on sound, it's turned on for sound. That means if someone calls me, I can hear the ring. When I click it one more time, it goes to vibrate. So if I'm in a meeting and I want it to vibrate and not make, any, make those noises that disrupt the meeting, I can do it very quickly from this quick access menu. If I hit it again, it actually will mute my phone and do it one more time, and it turns the sound on. The Bluetooth, obviously, you can turn your Bluetooth on or off. If you're not using any Bluetooth device connected to your phone to save battery, it's a good idea to turn this off. And again, you can turn it off quickly and easily right from this quick access menu. That's the first row on my phone. It may be different on your phone. Auto rotate. You can control whether or not your phone displays horizontally. When you rotate it horizontally, you can use this as a quick toggle to prevent the phone from auto rotating when you're reading in bed, for example. Keep in mind that the Android home menu is locked into the horizontal mode regardless of the state of this tile. But sometimes you want to rotate your phone and it's not rotating. This is the first place you want to go look. The airplane mode turns your phone's Wi-Fi and cellular data off. Tap this file to quickly toggle airplane mode on and off or long press on the tile to see the wireless and network settings. So if you just click there, you can turn on the mode. Just turn it and you're now in airplane mode. 
the idea of an airplane mode, of course, was when you're in an airplane, you want to shut off the Wi-Fi and you want to shut off the cellular data. And you can do it with one button. It's also very useful in a meeting where you don't want your phone to ring. You don't want any data. Uh, put it in airplane mode. We'll take it out of airplane mode just simply clicking it. The flashlight, I can't demonstrate it. Uh, well because it's sitting on a flat surface the, the flashlight turns on the flash on the back of your phone so you can use it as a flashlight there's no deeper option here just toggle it on and toggle it off and get somewhere in the dark you don't need to unlock your phone to use this the last one on this row is called power mode let's click it you've got some settings here and what would you want to do? Well, to extend your battery life to one day, five hours, by applying the settings below. You restrict the background data. You turn off the always on display and you limit the CPU speed. You want to turn your brightness down as far as you can use. So if you're inside, you don't need it really bright. Now, if you're going to be out in the sunlight, you're going to want it brighter. But the brighter you have it set, the more you're using your battery. The screen resolution, you can change that. And you can either apply whatever changes you make or hit cancel. Again, we'll pull a quick menu down once and then twice. And then on the bottom row of my phone, we have a mobile hotspot. I can turn on the hotspot simply by touching that button. Now I pay extra for the hotspot service. Not all phones can use their phone as a hotspot. Sometimes you have to pay an extra fee. The QR scanner is when you open it, it opens up the immediately a QR code scanner and you can scan whatever code that you wish. Let's go to page two. Notice at the bottom circles there, one is darker and one is white and the darker one says that's the page you're on by sliding to the left or to the right you can change and you might have multiple screens then at the bottom is your brightness control where you can change it very quickly and easily right from this screen but let's go to the second screen just by taking this and sliding over we have some more choices here on the second page, we're just going to touch on a couple of these items. The first one being location. The location button toggles your phone's GPS on or off. So if you don't want to use the GPS, you can turn it off. The other item that I'd like to mention is the NFC. I don't have it turned on. It allows you to share information between an app and two nearby phones, essentially a social sharing feature. You need an app that takes advantage of the nearby feature in order for this tile to work. Example apps include Trello and Pocket Casts. Now I did mention at the beginning that we would take a look at the same kind of features or quick settings menu using an iPhone. So let's bring in my iPhone. Now instead of swiping down, we're going to swipe up and you get similar tiles to do similar things that we just did with the Android. You've got the airplane mode. You've got the flashlight. And you have several others. If you have an iPhone, you can experiment with some of these settings as well. So these are some of the quick settings on the quick settings menu. I'm Huey Poplock.